Hey, Hannah here with Delta. Today I want to talk about adjusting your rotational limit stop on Delta multi-choice tub and shower trims. The rotational limit stop sets how far your handle can turn to hot. If you have any issues with your shower or bath water running extremely hot or not hot enough, then this is a quick adjustment you could make to solve that. Today we'll be covering a T17T model, which is a dual function thermostatic model. This just means that you can adjust the temp and volume separately, but it also has a thermostatic cartridge that keeps the temperature steady, which is great to eliminate hot or cold bursts. It helps automatically adjust the water so you don't get surprised when, say, someone flushes the toilet. So I'll show you how to do that right now. Now to access the rotational limit stop on this, I had to pop this cover off of our temperature knob here. And then I had to take the screw out of the middle of this, pulled off our knob, and then I could see our rotational limit stop. If yours looks different than this, or if you need any help accessing yours, feel free to call Delta's customer service. They're happy to help. Okay, now it's time to adjust our rotational limit stop. That's what controls how hot your water can get. Industry standard says that 120 is too hot, but your local code may vary. 90 to 110 is the ideal temperature, most comfortable temperature. Okay, so we're gonna start by taking our temperature knob here, and we're gonna put it on. Doesn't matter where I line it up right now, I'm just gonna line it up with the handle. And then I'm gonna turn our water on. That's gonna run cold for just a minute. I'm gonna get a thermometer. Turn that on. Now I'm gonna turn my temperature knob here all the way to hot, and I'm gonna wait for it to get as hot as it can get. All right, so I'm gonna run the water into a glass that I have a thermometer stuck in. All right, so I'm right at 72, which is obviously too cold. And that's probably the situation you'll be in. This is normally where they're set at right out of the box. So to adjust the temperature, I'm gonna take off my knob. I'm gonna spin it around. And then I'm gonna turn it hotter. All right, now let's see where we're at. Okay, so I'm already at 111 right now, which is too hot, so I need to adjust it colder. So all I'm gonna do is just spin this colder. We'll try right there, test it. All right, we're right at 102.6, and that's great. That's just where I want it. All right, so we're gonna turn the water off. Then I'm gonna take off the temperature knob. And you'll see on the back of it, there's this flat side right here. I wanna line that up with this stop right here. So I'm just gonna line those up. Okay. And now, when I turn my water back on, it won't go past that, so it can't get any hotter than that. I'll show you. Okay, now it's time to screw down our temperature knob. I have a screw here that was included in your packaging and a Phillips screwdriver. And since I am working with small parts, you might wanna put a towel or just something down to cover your drain so you don't lose anything down it. Okay, so I'm gonna take our screw here. I'm just going to hand thread it into the hole in the center of our temperature knob. Okay, now I'm gonna take our screwdriver, tighten it the rest of the way down. Now I'm gonna take our cover here, making sure that it's right side up. I'm just going to apply some pressure and that should seat right in there. Okay, that looks good. All right, I hope that solved your water temperature issues and that it's set at the perfect temperature for you. If you have any questions or need any help, feel free to reach out to Delta's customer service. They have a knowledgeable support staff, happy to help.